Hi and welcome to the channel, I'm Mel and this video is Astara Ideas. Now if you can't open the practice, you're in a broom closet or if you can open the practice, hopefully it'll give you some different ideas this year with what to do to celebrate Astara or Ostara, however you say it. So first off, I've just gone and picked, I only ever pick three daffodils from my garden. So get yourself some daffs, they're always cheery. Welcome back the sun and new life. Now this, I've got two of these, I got from Poundland. So it's got the eggs on it. And yes, it was a pound. I actually got this to do a, a spring wreath, but I quite like it as it is. So I'm gonna leave it like that on my altar because as you know, I've got two altars. So this altar obviously at the back can't have candles lit. So everything that's artificial or doesn't need lighting goes to the back and then all my candles come to the front when I do a spell. I also have my hair box. This came in a sub box many, many moons ago. We have the, the daisy one here as well, which is the same as that one. I have my little gnomey type thing that I've made. He sits on there for spring. Now let's start with what you can do if you've got children. Obviously you can cut out eggs, chickens. Now I am useless at drawing. As you can see, look, flower. That's the only template I didn't have. So what I've done is I've used cookie cutters to go around those. These are last year's and this is my granddaughter last year. So she was 10 months old when she painted those. We have some that aren't from last year. Let me show you this year's that she's done. She's not into painting anymore. She doesn't like it that much. Now these are used to write your wishes on the back. If I can grab my tree. So because I don't want it outside, there's one, it's paper. Two, it's got paint on it, although it is non-toxic, obviously, because it's children paint. And then you've got the ribbons. Well, this is natural, so this will just dissolve. But I hang them on my twig tree, which if you watched last year's, you will um, have seen it. And they just hang on there. Your family can write their wishes. It just hangs on your tree. This is just a pot with twigs, the colourful twigs that you get from most supermarkets or you can get it from a florist. That's one idea. If you do want to go outside, sorry, I've just knocked you. If you do want to go outside, then you could use leaves. The blackberry leaves are starting, the brambles are starting to come through. Or you could use rice paper. And so long as you use natural cotton or twine, you're going to be okay to hang them outside. So that's the first idea. The second, I went to Poundland, as you know, because I've just told you I got these. But I also had this. There's 27 of these in here. You get your brush, you get your paints and you get some twine. Now I thought that these were absolutely fantastic. So that's the paint colours that comes with the kit. This was a pound as well if I haven't already said. So I've done the chick very quickly and this is where you see that I'm not actually very good at colouring or painting or or anything really arty but that's obviously a rabbit but I've done it in the colours of a hair so these I thought would be fabulous 
One, you could use it as a bunting. You could paint them up and just place them on your altar or around the home. You could actually hang them on the tree. But also, you could write wishes on these. So I thought that would be really good. You could obviously bury this underneath a bulb or some seeds. You could use it as your charm or as a talisman to take you through spring and the start of summer with just your hopes, your goals, your intentions wrote on the back. That's another idea that I thought was really quite good and you've got 27 of them so you can you can do quite a few bits with that. I'm going to pop my hair there. Levin, lavender? Lemon pomander. Now these are fabulous. Not only do they smell good, but if you put them in your rooms, it's going to cleanse and help to clear away that stagnant negative energy from the winter months. I have just done the four quarters on here. You don't have to. If you are crafty minded, then you could create your picture on here and put the clothes around. So that is another idea for you that's not witchy in any way, shape or form, but if you're doing it with intention, then you know that it's going to work. Oranges you could use as well with the cloves. Obviously this is another representation of the sun, as is the lemon. What else do I have here? So I went out, as I said, I, oh, I was going to make a wreath. But I didn't, I couldn't find a hoop. So I went out to my cherry tree earlier on today and seen if it was, the branch was bendy enough and it actually broke it. So let me find, oh, I don't, oh it's gone all the way over there. So it was just the twig, the end twig from the tree and I just put it into a circle. The reason being is I got this from Aldi. Now this was 4 99 but I thought it's great if you want to do something but you can't then it gives you a lot of ideas. So it does come with uh, greenery and some flowers. Obviously, you know that I don't normally do um, plastic. I normally do natural, but the only thing that is in my garden at the moment are daffodils. So it also comes with stems, which you could also make a ring out of. And it comes with a book to give you lots of ideas. So the flower crown, that's the idea that I wanted. Obviously that I will be doing for Belton, but I wanted to do this to go round my candle. So that's another idea. I'm not going to make that up because otherwise the video will be long. Going back to the card. Now, last night I sat and I thought, what can I do that's different? And I've already said I am no good at drawing whatsoever. So please excuse it. If you are an artist, you can see that I am definitely not very good. But this just happened. So I thought with intention of what I wanted, what for spring, and that happened. So that is another way of putting intentions into your work, and that itself is a spell. 
that's another idea for you. Will it stand up? You're also going to want your black and white candles for balance. I will stay on with the craft just for a moment because I've had this so long and I want to do so many different things with it. So I've decided I'm going to do this with it. So it is a deep frame. I'll take that out now. So if you've never seen deep frames before, it does have, I can get it out, a piece in the middle. You could, if you wanted to take the glass out so that you can access the step. Oh, I nearly broke the glass then. Let's put that back in quick. And this is what I'm going to put in it. Again, you can see by that I am certainly not an artist. This is watercolour and I just sat there last night and tried to do something. So the egg at the back, that wasn't supposed to be like that. So I thought, what can I do with it? I don't like waste. So I got the wooden rabbit. I cut off his tail. He still looks like a rabbit. He's not obviously not a hare, but he's near enough for me. So that is going to go in the frame. If I can get it back in. Let me have a look. And there you have. Ooh, trying, to, trying to show you that the glass is shining. So perfect, an altar in itself, nobody will ever know. You could, as I say, take the glass out and then you could pop crystals on the shelf. There is another altar idea that isn't an altar nobody would know in your family it's just a frame something that you've done you like it and you've hung it on the wall these obviously can be then changed for the seasons for the festivals the sabbaths numerous things you can do with a box frame what else do i have here on to planting. So as I said, um, it's a bit early. I am, what is it, the 3rd, 4th of March. So I am going to plant, but I'm only going to do six. Show you how to do intention. Sorry, I am in and out of frame. I do apologise, it's because all my stuff is out of reach. Pop marigolds. So how do you plant? With intention. Open it, as you can see, I've not opened these. Ooh. And I can't get into the thing. Okay, whoa, do you know what? I've never seen marigold seeds before. So, this, I don't even think you can see it, is what they look like, they're curly. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold them in my hands and just take a calming breath. Put your intention into the seeds. When you've done, plant your seeds. four there so I will do another two when I've finished <coughs> so 
So those then obviously you're going to care for them, you're going to look after them, you can speak to them. I normally say hello every morning and ask how they are. And then you can plant them out when they're ready. I think I've took everything that I wanted to show you off my tray. So I'm going to wrap it up here. I really hope these gave you some ideas, different ideas to do, to welcome back the sun, to welcome spring, new life, new beginnings. And also, if you really can't openly practice, I hope it's helped you too. Thanks for watching. If you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help us. Leave a comment below if um, you've got any other ideas. Which was your favourite idea? What are you going to try? And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the channel. It is free to do so and it really does help us. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.